you know, it's a holiday at the end of the week. We need to get some extra food at the market today. But Mama, you know I can't come with you today. Why not, child? Don't you remember? I have to go to the clinic. Babies come into the world with or without clinic. Travel all that way to have a doctor poke you? Not for the doctor, Mama, but for your grandson. I want the best for him. Okay, ladies, we're gonna start now. Come and sit this side. Good morning, sisters. You are here to start antenatal care today. We are going to spend the next 30 minutes talking about having a healthy pregnancy. As part of your care, we recommend all pregnant women are counseled and tested for HIV. Knowing your HIV status can help you and your baby. Let me ask you, what have you heard about HIV? How is your pregnancy going so far? It's fine. How many weeks now? About 14 weeks. Morning sickness? Um, a little, but not so much anymore. Are you eating and resting enough? I think so. We'd like to test you for HIV today. I don't have HIV. I only sleep with my husband. Very often, people don't know that they've got HIV. The only way to know is to get tested. Even if there is a small chance, we'd like to check. I guess. What's your concerns about testing? I just don't think I have HIV, but I'm willing to do anything I can for my baby. Will you agree if we do the HIV testing today? Okay. Have you got any questions? No. Take a seat, Hope. Is everything okay? I have to tell you that you tested positive for HIV. That can't be. I can understand you're surprised by the results, but the test is very accurate. Has your husband been tested? No, he's in perfect health. You can't tell if someone has got HIV by looking at them. The only way is to test. Let's talk about you and your baby. Not all babies born to mothers living with HIV will become infected. Together, we can lower the chances that your baby will get HIV. We'll be enrolling you in the Prevention of Mother to Child Transmission Program today. You may hear it referred to as PMTCT. I'm willing to do anything I can for my baby. You and your baby will both need to take medicines. This will help to protect your baby from HIV. We will do a blood test for CD4 count 
to determine which medicine you will need. The CD4 count measures how strong your body is to fight the virus. You will see another nurse after we've done talking. She will take a blood sample from your arm. You can come back in one week for your results. Do you have any questions about that? No. Okay, now I'm going to go over all the things we can do to lower the chance your baby will get HIV. We'll talk about when you need to come back, the medicines you and your baby may need, how to have a safe labor and delivery, and how to safely feed and care for your baby. Hey, you okay? No, I'm scared my baby will have HIV. What did they tell you? They said I tested positive. That's in my blood. Listen, not all babies who are born to mothers who have HIV will get HIV. How do you know? This is my second baby. You've just found out, haven't you? Yeah. Look, I know you're worried, but you're actually very lucky. I am? Yes. At least you had the good sense to come to the clinic. A lot of the women around here come when it's too late or they don't come at all. But how will I know if my baby has HIV? When he's six weeks old, you'll bring him in and he'll be tested. But there's still a lot that you have to do before then. First, you have to come back for your CD4 results. I'm afraid to. You cannot be afraid. Your baby is depending on it. The results will determine what medication you have to get. Do you understand? Okay. Once you get the results, the nurse will tell you exactly what you have to do. You'll have to start a medication whilst you're still pregnant. You'll have to give medication to your baby and you have to make all the appointments at the clinic. The nurse will also help you learn how to safely feed your baby. You don't have a choice. You have to do all of this. But will all this really help? Look, there's no guarantee. But if you want to save two lives, yours and your baby's, you have to do this. But how do you know all of this? I've been on ARVs for five years. My daughter does not have HIV. And I haven't missed my medication, not for one day. When did they say that your results will be ready? In about one week. Do you have somebody who can come with you? No. No one can do this on their own. I'm not ready to tell anyone. You'll know when you're ready. But I'll meet you here when you come back for your results. I don't even know you. <laughs> My name's Janet. But why would you come with me? To help you be strong. Like somebody helped me. Hi, Ma. How was the market? It was a lot to carry by myself. I'm sorry. How was the clinic? It was fine. I've told you, it's a waste of time. I'll be back to help you. You're back. We need to talk. Do you want me to come with you? No, I think I'll be okay. You sure? Yeah. Hello, Hope. Hi. How have you been since your last appointment? Good. Your CD4 count is 450. Because it's over 350 and you do not have advanced HIV or AIDS, we would like you to start on ARVs. 
antiretrovirals two times every day. We want you to take ARVs during your whole pregnancy to help lower the chances that your baby will be HIV infected. How do you feel about taking medicines every day? Is it safe for my baby? Yes. These medicines are safe for you and your baby. Then your baby will also need to take ARVs every day until you stop breastfeeding. Okay. We'd like you to start taking ARVs today. We'll have a counselor meet with you to explain the medicines and everything you need to do. Hope. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks. What did they say? That I have to take ARVs. And what's your CD4 count? 450. That's good. Mine was much lower when I started on ARVs. Um, what I don't understand though is, will the medicine cure the HIV? Unfortunately not. There is no cure. But if you take your medication every day the right way, you can live a healthy life and save your baby. I'll do anything for my baby. How good are you at remembering things? <laughs> not so good. Well, that's the hardest part, because you have to take your medication every day the right way. Otherwise, you'll increase the chance of your baby becoming HIV positive. How do you remember to have them with you? Like my necklace? Do you have a mobile phone? Mm-hmm. Well, then you can always set a reminder. Look, there are a thousand ways that you can remember. Think seven in the morning, seven in the evening, breakfast and dinner. You have to take your medication twice a day, every day at the same time, and you have to come back to the clinic every month. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Okay, say that again, but this time don't say it to me, say it to your baby. You can always check your medical card or you can call the clinic. Okay, I get it. Have you told anyone yet? I told my husband. And what did he say? What can he say? He knows he has to get tested and that we have to do everything we can for the baby. Well, that's good, because you will need somebody to help you remember and, of course, for the support. I'm not sure he'll be able to do that. You know, I went to a support group after my first child, and it really helped me. You might enjoy it. Are you having the baby at the hospital? <laughs> not if my mother-in-law has anything to say about that. And whose baby is this, hers or yours? Look, sometimes during delivery there are complications. At least if you're at the hospital, they'll be able to deal with it if that should happen. Well, I was hoping to have him at the hospital. And you must tell them your status. Bring your ARVs along. You'll need them during labor and delivery. And of course, they'll have to give ARVs to your baby. Sure, Janet, there's so much to remember. <laughs> Whoever said being a mother would be easy. <laughs> or a daughter. Or a wife. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I think you're going to enjoy being a mom. Yes, I think I will. Have you thought of names yet? Um... Not all babies born to mothers living with HIV will become HIV infected. There's a lot you can do to lower the chance that your baby will be infected. All pregnant women living with HIV need to take medicines called ARVs. All babies exposed to HIV need to take medicines called ARVs. Never miss an appointment. Never miss an appointment. Take your medicines the right way. The same time, every day. Give your baby his medicines the right way. At the same time, every day. Adherence equals life. Adherence equals life. PMTCT can help you save two lives, your own and your baby's. We need to accept and support each other. We need to accept and support each other. There are 12 million women living with HIV in Africa. You are not alone. 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 That's an excellent question. We'll get to that later today when we talk about baby's six weeks checkup. Hi, Hope. 
Glad you are here. Have a seat. I think you know everybody. Yeah. How old is he? One month yesterday. Did the breastfeeding get easier? It's going great now. My mother tried to feed him porridge at first, but I think she understands now that I can only feed him breast milk for the first six months. Where should we start today? Your own care? Mm, giving your baby ARVs? Us. Let's talk about us. I just got my own six-week checkup. They told me I was healing well and everything looked good. Good reminder, all new moms need to go back within the first week and at six weeks after having the baby for a checkup. Hope that's two weeks from now, right? Mm -hmm. And you all know that even if you are not still taking ARV, you need to continue your own care for your whole life. And that means going to the clinic at least every six months. More if you are on ART. Right, ladies? Right. Who here is on ART? I am. I started when I was pregnant. What's the most important thing for those of us who started ART before or during the pregnancy? That will never stop, even after the baby is born. All right. Some women need to take ARVs only when they are pregnant, and others need to take them for life. Okay, Mary, why don't you tell Hope what she can expect at her baby six weeks visit? At my visit, they weighed and measured my baby and did the checkup. They also tested her for HIV, and she started contramoxazole. I pick up the results about two weeks later and she was negative. I have a question. What is control? Contramoxazole. Your baby's on Sepsin, right? Yes. It's the same thing. There are just different names for it. Contramoxazole is a medicine that prevents infections. All babies exposed to HIV need to take ARVs. I'm giving my baby ARV syrup every day, but he doesn't like it. Does anyone have a suggestion? When I first started, I didn't think I could do it. Then the sister at the clinic helped me. Your baby needs to take Neverapin syrup every day until you stop breastfeeding. This will lower a chance to get HIV. You draw 1,5. Place the tip in the corner of the mouth, pull slowly so that the syrup goes in the cheek. If the baby is crying, calm down, then you will try it again. Remember to wash the syringes after you use with soap and water. Who else takes care of a baby at home? Sometimes my sister helps. Good. You have a support. Show her everything that I have shown you. Or you may bring her to your next visit. Okay, what else? My husband has a question. When can we start, you know, what exactly are you asking about? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I do something? Not yet. <laughs> Try to avoid sex until at least six weeks after you deliver. Your body needs time to heal. When you do start again, you should think about family planning and ask your partner to use condom. Did that answer your question, Hope? Yes. This has been a great discussion today. I want to end our meeting by going around the room and having each of you say one tip about adherence. Remember, adherence equals life. Adherence is the key to you and your baby staying healthy. I scheduled my own appointment the same day my baby has appointment. I make sure I take my own medicine at the same time every day. I have a sister who's calling me every day to make sure that I am on schedule. 
for my baby's medicines. Every day, I look at my baby and realize what I'm doing this for. Our next meeting will be here in two weeks. Who want to lead our closing song? Why don't you be empty city? Where you are, be empty city. Where you are, be empty city. Where you are, 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 where you are. How's the support group meeting? It was really good. I made your favorite dinner. You eat and rest. Thank you, ma. How are you doing, Hope? I'm fine. I'm really fine. Why don't you be empty city? Where you are, be empty city. Where you are, be empty city. Where you are, be empty city.